All right, what's going on guys? So we're here with another video and with the Innova challenge that we've done yesterday actually at the time of me recording this, we are gonna be taking on the story event, the elegance story event. And uh, I already went ahead and done the first part just because I, uh, I <laughs> when I opened up the game, I was like, hmm, okay, let's do this story event. And after I cleared it, I was like, oh shit, I, I, I was planning on recording so yeah, I just did the first part. It's nothing, any, it wasn't anything special. It was just sort of like the intro, I guess you could say. So we're just gonna go right back into it. Uh, all we got was 10 gems and uh, the uh, battle now. So, it, and the battle over here is locked actually. And uh, the, the recommended strength is 5,400, but our team is locked. We cannot edit or uh, do anything about it. This is our team. And if you've uh, played through or read through the first part of this story, you're gonna understand why uh, everything is locked. And I understand why, because uh, we have uh, Candace over here that basically came into the conversation at the end of the story during the first part. And uh, while uh, Caitlin was talking to us about uh, peace, elegance, and calmness, and some word I've never seen before. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, so we're going to have to use these three, and, uh, yep, yeah, let's continue from here. We're just going to get right into it. And the story, it's not going to be anything too complex or anything, it's just, I, in my opinion, like, uh, 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 jeez, I can't talk. Okay, it's just a simple little thing to add, like, at, in, turn for an event. Uh, so, oh, okay, I did not mean to click that, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so it's not going to be too difficult that you guys can see it. It's just this, like, hidden power, and we're just going to go for a psychic and the Swana is most likely dead. Yep, goodbye. Goodbye, Swana. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> and I've got 30 gems, and uh, it, it's just a simple thing to do. Uh, free gems. We got like 600 gems in the other video. So like, and then with these gems on top of that, so it's pretty easy to do. It's just free gems. Like, why not? The first year anniversary is coming up, so the uh, um, any gems that you save for the big banner for the first year anniversary is gonna be good. So yeah. But anyways. Well done, both of you. The battle was quite splendid. I did focus as hard as I could, as always. It was, it's what I'm best at. <laughs> well, sure, okay. I don't think I would choose the word elegant to describe you in the battle. <laughs> oh, is she getting roasted? But you certainly had an air of strength and toughness about you. I could feed your energy across the battlefield. Oh, wow, yeah. You were probably feeling that Candace focus. Wait, what? Feeling that Candace focus that I'm known for Pokemon fashion, romance. Wait, ro what? Okay, it's all about focus. <laughs> what are they talking about? My Abomasnoise focus is always top notch too. I really like Abomasnoise though. She's pretty cool. Okay, uh, Tiki. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's a style that suits you and your partner very well, I think. I used to be unable to control my own emotions or the psychic powers I possess. Whenever I lost a battle, they would spin entirely out of control, so much that I was un that I was forbidden from battling at all. All of that changed when I began interacting with psychic type Pokemon. They are able to ma manipulate their power at will, you see? With their help, I learned to keep my negative emotions at bay. I learned how to remain calm, elegant, and at peace in any battle. Excellent. I take great pride in my elegance, but I must admit that your focus has bequeathed my interest quite a bit, Candace. Well, gee, I'd love to learn more about elegance, too. Sounds like we should do a lot more battling together. Okay, my reading is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not that great this morning, considering it was like 7 a.m. and finished my workout. <laughs> I, ha I don't have that much oxygen going to my uh, to my head. <laughs> so now we're doing another battle, uh, and yeah, same again, same thing, same team, uh, and same recommended strength. So we're just gonna go in this and uh, and beat it. 
So now, uh, trainer, ranger. We're just gonna go for a psychic. Probably gonna beat it. Yep, oh, almost, uh, almost a one hit. I've actually never used, uh, Caitlyn before. Well, then again, I don't even have her either. Uh, so for the dino, we're just gonna use ice punch, cause he's weak to that, and one hit, boom, done, get out of here. I cannot wait for them to add in a Hydreigon. I wonder if if they're gonna add in Hydreigon. I could imagine they will because he's one of the most popular Unova type uh, Pokemon in the game, like in the in the region. Like he's very popular. Like, and he's well liked too. He's a sick ass dragon, and, and he's actually one of my favorite dragon types too. So I really hope they add him into the game because he's in the coding. The first evolution is in the coding of the game. So I, I wouldn't I would imagine that they're gonna add him in too. I don't even know how long this story event is, but we're just gonna go right through all of it. All of it. <laughs> well, flying DBZ. Would you say that was an elegant battle? Uh, not really. I w <laughs> wasn't focusing. Uh, what about me? Did you see how focused I was? Very elegant, Caitlin. Very focused, Candace. Uh, is there an option for I don't care? <laughs> Continue the story. Uh, okay, we're just gonna go with very elegant, Caitlin. Uh, I don't think it really matters which one you pick anyways. Uh, naturally, I do my best to make every battle as grateful and refined as an elegant dance. Holy crap, it's like she has a hard on for elegant. Oh my god. Hey, just wanted to say your battle just now was super rad. Oh, this is blue, right? No, oh, okay, well, I should have known. <laughs> blue never says rad. Alright, what's all this about elegance and focus though? Did I miss something? Or I, I know, I'm saying the same thing. I'm saying the same thing, what's all this about? <laughs> well, you see? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, I thought we were gonna go to like a flashback, like Family Guy or something. Ah, I think I get it now. You want my honest opinion after watching you guys battle? I don't think elegance or focus or what's really most important when it comes to Pokemon battling. Well, what is it then? With enough focus, you can pretty much do whatever you set your mind to. It's the best. Would you mind? I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Do go on. <laughs> well, in my opinion, it's gotta be heat. It's gotta be- wait, what? It's gotta be the beat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The passion. Rockin'. You start riffing. You build up a killer rhythm. And then BAM! You, <laughs> you smash your opponents in the face with it. The beat? No. Focus or elegance? Can beast be elegant? Passionate beast. Uh. You've lost me. I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. I guess it's kind of hard to put it into words. Let's just skip them. Come on. I'll make you guys feel what I'm in. What I mean is. What I mean is that. Oh my god, my reading. I'll show you a Pokemon battle. So wild, I'll blow your mind. And we got another 10 gems and another story. So now we're going to go to another battle. So I think it's like a story and a battle. Story, battle. So the recommended strength is still the same. But obviously we're going to have a major advantage. It's nothing too crazy. It's just the story, free gems, and yeah. Character introductions, whatever. <laughs> I do love Roxy's Pokemon there. I, like He's one of my favorite poison, poison type Pokemon. And he's actually not that bad too. Like his strength is pretty good. I'm like I'm talking about in the game as well, like the mainstream games. Okay. So okay, this is actually lasting a little bit longer than I expected. Potion heal, Pikachu, come on, go, heal, heal, heal. Oh my god, okay, that did way too much. Finally, you are dead. Now we are gonna use a sync move. And we're still probably gonna die. Not lose, but we're probably gonna lose. Caitlyn. No, don't die. Okay. Uh, we can't even just move, uh, uh, a move gauge re refresh. But doesn't matter. Move on that. How much more of the story are we gonna do? Holy. Oops. Okay. Uh, strength and kindness. So what's gonna happen here? Yeah, what's going on, Roxy? You weren't supposed to lose. 
Guess that blew my chance at showing you guys what I was talking about. I wouldn't say that. It's true that you won the battle this time. But you certainly made an impression. Your attacks were like a raging rapid threatening to, to knock me down at any moment. <laughs> Kaylin's right. You were seriously impressive. I felt like we were in, we were an inch from losing through the whole battle. What? Really? What about the beat? Did you feel the beat? <laughs> She's on about the beat and then Caitlyn's on about elegance and peace. And then the other girl is on about fashion. As a matter of fact, I believe I did feel it. And after that, after this battle with you, I think I finally understand. When it comes to Pokemon battling, each and every trainer has their own belief about what is most important. It's individual to them. Wonderful. And I think that's lovely. It's our differences that makes us so interesting. I guess you've got a point. When I'm playing music, sometimes it's less about the beat and more about just chilling and enjoying myself. Yeah, I know not everybody is super focused on as high end. But more often than not, it's easy to tell when somebody really cares about their Pokemon and how much battling means to them. In other words, a trainer should never push others to follow their own personal methods, even if they believe they are correct. You there. Flying DBZ, I didn't really come up in our conversation before, but after what I witnessed today, I would say that you seem to value kindness more than anything else when it comes to Pokemon battling. Mmm, not really, I just, <laughs> I just want to win. You should show you shine with both kindness and strength in every battle you compete in. I saw that very clearly today. <laughs> I should thank you, Flying DBZ, for helping me learn a valuable lesson today. I should be the one thanking you. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you know what? Let's just go with I should be thanking you. <laughs> You're too kind, really. I feel as though you all have shown me an entirely new world. So something tells me I'm going to have a very sweet dream soon. I'm gonna have very sweet dreams tonight. Thank, thanks to you. I can't wait to see what dream, what I dream about today. So is that the last of it? Oh my God, more. <laughs> We're having more, more story. Honestly, I, I like the story. Without the, besides them, like Caitlyn having a hard on for elegance and stuff like that. <laughs> it's a, it's a cool little story to have. Oh, and the recommended strength went up a little bit. Cool. Okay. Now, is this going to be the last one? Because, like, these are just random trainers. Just add in. This is the last one, and they're probably, it's probably just there to give us random free gems. I would imagine. Okay, so... Oh, this is just to increase our... Oh, it increases everything. Okay. So, yeah, but we are still not doing that much damage. Sludge wave, okay, cool, whatever. It would probably make more sense to actually go for the side Pokemon first, but I guess it doesn't really matter because the main Pokemon is down and these guys are gonna go down. We got our sync move. Oh, there's two, okay, well, didn't pay attention to that at the beginning. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm thinking of going for a hidden power, but I'll wait for the psychic. Oh, crap, okay. <laughs> I was not paying attention there. Oh, no, please don't have an AoE attack. <laughs> please don't. No, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, you're weak to weak. Okay, good. He died in one shot, so there we go. All right. Whew. All right, that, that was another, another stage. Dude, what? All these battles. Okay. I don't think this is going to be the last of it. I mean, I think this is going to be the last of it. It's just going to be random battles now. So, yeah, I will go through it and see if there's anything more for the story. And I'll come back to this video. So, give me... I'll see you guys in one sec. Okay, so it does seem like that is the last of the story. Um, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was a cool story. Um, it's just like a little, in my opinion, like... I think it's one of those introduction stories, like to, to give more character to the sync peers in this game, uh, like for the Unova uh, characters that are in the game that they put in this story. So yeah, I think it's a cool little thing to do. Uh, it's free gems too, so why not do it? Uh, I think you get like just about 100, a little. I think 150 or a little bit more, if I'm not mistaken. 
Uh, I didn't do the math, but I just like quickly maybe estimated. Uh, it's 100 for sure, 100 for sure, because there's like uh, two battles here that give you uh, 30 gems. Uh, so that's 60 right there, and then you got Roxy, and then these battles over here. So it's definitely over 150 for sure. So yeah, and I didn't check if you, you get anything for completing it too. And I think you do actually, so. Oh yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay, so you get all these tickets. Wow. Wow, okay, what are these tickets for? I didn't even... Psychic Voucher, and then you got all these 50 gems. Wow, okay. I Let's actually see what these Psychic Vouchers are for. Uh, did, okay, I uh, did not mean to click that. Uh, oh, okay, so it's these. Okay, so you probably have to replay them uh, to get the rest of the vouchers. And then you could exchange all of them for this, so... I think that's what it is, or the psychic training event is uh, coming back, or something like that, uh, as like a little tease. So, cause from for the most part, there's always one of these type training events. So maybe that's what it is. Uh, if okay, so you got three there. Yeah, so it's like literally exactly like the the type training event. So let's actually take a look quickly. And see if you like if you replace certain missions, uh, you get the the vouchers. Arena details. Uh, yeah, no completion stuff. Uh, let's go to Roxy. Yeah, nothing. Unless you have to. No, but still, even the missions aren't gonna be enough to to give you all of them. So thirty there, fifty there, thirty, thirty, fifty, one hundred. 30, 30, 50, 30, 50. Yeah, that's definitely not enough. So I think the psychic type uh, training event is going to be coming back. So yeah, but definitely do the story event. Uh, complete the missions and you can get those psychic vouchers. And uh, yeah, you can be ahead of the grind and finish the psychic type training event earlier. And then you can do whatever you want. So yeah, that's it for the video. Uh, I think the story was, was cool. Free gems, so why not? <laughs> uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on my next video.